Let me ask about what we heard many times from uh, Mr. Tecopina, which is about Michael Cohen's credibility. He did plead guilty to five counts of tax evasion. Um, I want you to listen to something he said on CNN this week. They lies by the Southern District of New York against me for the tax evasion. I actually hope it comes out. I have all the documents to show there was no tax evasion. I never had an opportunity going into meet with an agent, and none of this is accurate. He pleaded guilty to that. He pleaded guilty to these crimes, and now he's saying he never committed them. If he has a chance, and I think the Inspector General of the Justice Department is the only one to do it, there should be an investigation of the circumstances of his guilty plea. No journalist has done it, including you, who I respect greatly. On a Friday afternoon, he was given an ultimatum. Either plead guilty to everything, we're not even going to show you the tax documents, or by Monday morning, we're going to indict you and your wife. So he pled right. guilty. And he did plead guilty. He did, which, but now he's saying that he didn't do that. So when it comes to... Um, how this is going to be presented when it comes to Michael Cohen's credibility in court, you know that his attorney is, uh, Donald Trump's attorney is going to be able to say, look, he even lied to a judge by admitting to something that now he's saying he didn't do. He pled guilty and he didn't lie to the judge. He wants people to look at the circumstances. And let me repeat what happened that I'm asking an inspector general to Justice Department to look at. The Southern District prosecutors said to his lawyer on a Friday afternoon, we're going to indict Michael Cohen and his wife on Monday morning, unless he pleads guilty to all of these crimes, some of the crimes, let's complete the sentence, were for the benefit of and the instruction of, direction of, according to the federal prosecutors, Donald Trump. And some of them, but not everything. The tax charges were not for the benefit of Donald Trump right. that was and the, for the tax benefit charges. Of all he is saying is look at the circumstances that on a Friday afternoon without having a chance to look at those charges, I was told either you plead guilty now or we're going to indict you and your wife on Monday. So he did plead guilty, but he'd like a chance to look at the jury and explain that. Regarding credibility, let me repeat. Everything Michael Cohen has said since he decided to tell the truth, he lied for 10 years for Donald Trump. He went to the American people in front of Chairman Cummings and he said, I lied, I'm ashamed of myself, I own that. Mm -hmm. Now, from that point on, he's never been shown to have lied. He has been forthcoming with every investigator. He never took the Fifth Amendment the way Mr. Trump did. And the credibility between him and the jury in that courtroom is going to be based on corroborating evidence.